this is what you can expect if you follow what I'm doing in this video. The video that you saw just few seconds ago was recorded on this MacBook Pro. Now there are tons of videos on the internet that shows how to record but this is the best way to do it. The program that we're going to be using to record Minecraft is ScreenFlow. I'll show you exactly what to do in ScreenFlow like how to make a 16 by 9 and everything but make sure that you download 4.5 ScreenFlow. The next two programs are optional, but I highly recommend it. This is Handbrake. This will compress the video so the file size isn't that big and it will take less time to upload it to YouTube. And Octophon. This will increase the frame rate by at least 20 frames per second, if you know how to use it. Now open up ScreenFlow. Just leave it on the background. Then open up Minecraft. Don't click play yet. Create a new profile. What we're gonna do is create a Minecraft window that will open up in 720p. So uh, you can name it whatever you want. The important part is check resolution and change this to 1280 by 720p, which is 16 by 9 and it's 720p. So we don't have to stretch it in the post production. So after that is done, press Command Option D to hide the dock and click play. Now, Minecraft will open up in 720p, which is 1280 by 720. Now, go to wherever you want to record. It could be it could be a single player, it could be multiplayer. You can record pretty much anything you want. Now, when you're ready, go to that screen flow icon and click record. Then, it will start at 5 second timer before it starts recording. I'm going to skip the recording part. So after you're done recording, you can get the dog back by pressing Command Option and D. So as you guys can see, this is ScreenFlow 4.5. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is make it 720p. So you can press that logo and then change this resolution to 1280 by 720p. Then you will see that top thing. You'll be like, what the heck? You can fix that by selecting that clip and pressing four and in here, and that will move the clip up four and then you should have a nice 1280 by 720p screen. Now you can just start editing, do whatever. After you're done, then click File, Export. Change this to Lossless, and then click Customize. Go to Video Settings, and then change this to H.264, and then change the frame per second to 30, and then change here to Automatic, and then go to Faster Encode for faster rendering, and then go to Restrict To, and change that to 8000. Then click OK and then now go to sound settings, change this to AAC audio and then go here to best and then change this to 192. The audio quality will look amazing, will sound amazing actually and then click OK. Now we're going to create this as a preset. So go to manage and then copy the lossless customized and then you can just name it whatever that you want. Then click OK and then change the preset to whatever you named it right now. Now check everything. Make sure the resolution or the dimension is set to 1280 by 720 p And then you can just click export, name it whatever you want, and then it should just start exporting. Because I set it to faster encoding, it should not take that long. However long the video is, add about two minutes to it, and that's how long it should take. After it's done exporting, if you check the information, you should see the file size is actually pretty big. So now we're going to compress that video. Now you need to open up the second program that I told you to download, which is Handbrake. Now browse that video. Now check Web Optimize and then name it whatever you want. And then after that is done, just press start. After the compression is finished, your video is ready to be uploaded. To wherever you want so here's the comparison 309 megabyte to 234 anyway guys here is a result again thank you for watching subscribe for more videos